welcome to the University of Michigan Department of Radiation Oncology. This video is a brief introduction to the SDX voluntary breath hold device, which is one of several methods we use to limit movement throughout imaging and treatment. This voluntary breath hold method allows us to reproducibly position the tumor during imaging and every session of treatment and therefore reduces irradiation of healthy tissue. The breath hold method is called voluntary because you remain in control at all times and can resume normal breathing whenever you wish. Your therapist will guide you throughout the process. This tutorial will show you what to expect. When you enter the simulation room shown here, your therapist will help you onto the table and arrange your arms comfortably over your head. The process in the treatment room is often quite similar. Your therapist will first introduce you to the mouthpiece and bacterial filter. The mouthpiece is made of a soft rubber that looks a lot like a swimming snorkel, allowing your lips to form a seal around it so that the breathing can occur through the mouth. The bacterial filter is attached to the mouthpiece and changed daily. Next comes the nose clips, which fits like a swimmer's nose plug again to ensure that all breathing is done through the mouth. The goggles offer virtual reality viewing so you can observe your breathing patterns along with the therapist. What you see through the goggles is what they see on the monitor. If you typically wear glasses, they won't be necessary under the goggles because there is a dial for each lens that allows you to adjust and focus to suit your vision precisely. Close one eye and adjust the dial as desired, then repeat with the other eye. The goggles earpieces are also individually adjustable for a comfortable, perfect fit. Let's put it all together. The adjustable goggles, the mouthpiece and filter, and the nose clips. Your therapist will now connect you to the SDX sensor. At all times, you remain in complete control of your breathing. If your targeted area is in your chest, your voluntary breath hold occurs after inhaling. Should your targeted area be within the abdomen, the breath hold occurs after exhaling. Let's begin with the method for breath holds coinciding with inhalation. Take a series of normal, even breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. Allow your exhalations to fall in the middle of the gray band. Once a rhythm has been established, the green light will go on and your therapist will ask you to inhale deeply and hold your breath within the yellow band for a given interval. You'll see a timer showing your breath hold duration. If you are unable to comfortably hold your breath for the specified length, Resume normal breathing and the process will be repeated. The exhalation method is much the same. Take a series of normal, even breaths. Breathe in, breathe out. Allow your exhalations to fall in the middle of the gray band. Once a rhythm is established, your therapist will ask you to take a deep breath in. The green light will go on and you will be asked to gradually exhale and hold your breath within the yellow band. You'll see a timer showing your breath hold duration. If you are unable to comfortably hold your breath for the specified length, resume normal breathing and the process will be repeated. As you can see, whether upon inhalation or exhalation, the breath hold remains voluntary and always under your control. In the treatment room seen here, the process is essentially the same as it was for the simulation room. We hope this preview alleviates any concerns about breath holds during imaging and treatment, and your therapist will be in constant communication to guide you through this voluntary breath hold method. Don't hesitate to ask any questions or share concerns. Your therapist and entire medical team are here to help.